Uh. Yeah, this is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> Is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. Hey, fuck y'all, nigga. You think we want to be this late? Hit the 150. <laughs> Apologizes to his chat room goons who stay up talking shit. Even the niggas who be trying to argue with other niggas on computers. Fuck you, nigga. Where you at? <laughs> we have issues in this uh, storage. It's not easy to run a show out of here, so we apologize for being late, you fucks. It's a hustle. We out here working to get this shit cracking. Y'all don't even know how bootleg this (laughs) shit is, how we online, nigga. We had to call uh, Andrew Dice Clay and run a uh, 900-foot cord to his house. This is some repugnant shit. I got that off of uh, Pulp Fiction. But we made it happen. Yeah, we here, motherfucker. Hey, Corey, what is this for, nigga? Look, (laughs) this is a tool that can help you with or without a girl, okay? If you got a girl, goddammit, you can have her do freaky shit. Have you ever had an oil hug rub type shit? Both of y'all get oiled up and you just slide, bitch, on you. (laughs) Bitch, look, we about to go skiing on each other, bitch. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, reporting it. That's a new word. Um, Drew, the vocalist. I got it. I, I stole it from Samuel Jackson. I think that was on um, Jackie Brown when he was. Uh, and he was like, "This is some reporting shit. shit." Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Baby oil is good. You dog. If you ain't never been creative enough to think of um, Astro Glide, <laughs> right? Being slippery. <laughs> With a bitch, I'm not talking about just in the pussy. I'm talking about y'all just sliding on each other, goddammit. What would you call that? Uh, joy riding. <laughs> right, right. The slip hug. <laughs> Darlene will be here momentarily. Here here? Darlene is working the business Turkish that we oil have. Bath. <laughs> Turkish oil bath. I like that. Turkish oil bath, God damn it. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look it's at Darlene that Darlene working on some shit for us, God damn it. Uh, That's fly. But, uh, yeah, I want to talk about um, all of the shit that I asked for. Didn't last time we do a show, I said something about if you hug your girl goodnight or something, send the video? That's right. We did ask for some video. Did somebody get videos out? D, did you check? <laughs> Shut the... F- no, I'm just- <laughs> Fuck with D. Do your job. Right. right. <laughs> you do what I say, Prince Father, Purple Rain. Right. Do it. You don't let me have any fun. Oh, D dropped your motherfucking shit. Look at do D, you don't fall. Do you remember what happened? I told him what happened. Oh. What happened? You, I wasn't going to say shit. Well, I don't care. It was the truth. I fell. How can you do that? Hey, boy, D was in this motherfucker. <laughs> D, that slow did. fall. That, uh, I think he's uh, great. Uh, her vo- when D heard her voice got deeper, she was like, ah! By the time she fell, she was like, this motherfucker done fucked me up. I wish I would have had on camera his reaction. He was like, he thought, ah! And I was like, I'm her workman's comp. Ain't no workman's comp this in this motherfucker. This workman's comp. Be like, Did you mother- hear D? I'll be like, she I was- don't think he was I'll be like, D gone. was in here helping me move shit out this storage. This ain't no fucking place where nobody work. D said work Ms. Comp, my nigga. I, think I saw that all over his face. It wasn't like, oh, man, is D okay? No, it was like, oh, wow. no, she don't trap. Show him your bruise, D. Oh, and this is 2009. Oh, 
two days on Arnica. So if I hadn't put on it, what, what is Arnica? It's 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 a uh, Tommy Arnica. Trauma, Tommy Arnica from a flower. That's that what they told you. Use it. What do you mean? No, you you'd be surprised. Well, you don't have to worry about bruises. It works for real. You bullshit. You already knew. She anyway, uh, she up on. <laughs> she know now. What is that? That's a monkey bite. That it was it was blood purple. Do you bruise easy? You can't be with no domestic she beater got, type do dude. Know. She got evidence. I do. Motherfucker be like, didn't I tell you to wash this? Ah! Don't ever go to sleep with no ditches in the yeah, sink. <laughs> She'll be all blue. Uh oh. I'm gonna switch. D mic ain't working. Look, we move shit around in here. Y'all need to work with us, goddammit. Somebody called it storage unit studios. Yay! <laughs> storage studios. Is it working? Is is that mic working? Test, 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 one, two, one, two. Hey. Nigga, this shit is bootlegged in the motherfucker. <laughs> He's just beating that dick. Oh, I wish, I wish that was a problem. He did that shit from jagging off. He's skeeting acid. She was jagging <laughs> an alien off. Anyway. Oh, yeah. man. Storage War so Productions. We, we, we made it happen, though. Knock on wood, it's all happening over there. So Hell we, we yeah. Got things going on, so. Anyway. Um, man, he ain't gonna let it go. I he am so like, disheveled. I don't here. even know how my hair looks. It's probably all frizzy, but you look good, my... Pete. You look good. Anyway. Your hair straight for the stroke. Is it? All yeah. right. Considering me, Look, I say. Texas drew Texas judge what? rules state cannot cut Medicaid funds to plan parenthood. What does that mean? Mm. What do you mean? He because they because he wanted to cut it off. He wanted to cut that off. Because of abortions. Right. Abortions. Right. So the Republicans don't want abortions? Well they claim that they're Well they're conservative right. and they, they don't claim, want and they uh, claim the abortions. The right, they're, exactly. Conservative They're Christian pro-life. fundamental movement. Right. That was their, their big thing. Hmm. Well, I must be honest. Even though they're it, the ones that got the most toe tapping underneath the bathroom stalls. Just saying. I would the never abort a baby. baby if I was pregnant. But huh? I am glad bitches aborted babies when they was pregnant. That ain't right. That Wait, don't no, sound yeah, right. Yeah, retract it. No, I'm not retracting it. I meant it. Wait a second, but you... Okay, so what were you... I, I wouldn't do no rotten shit like that if I was pregnant. Whoever got me pregnant, I'd be like, look, bitch, we gonna have it. So but men awesome. can't get pregnant. Can they? Yeah. No, we can't. It, men oh, can't right. get pregnant. What, how did we guy, get people pregnant. How did that guy carry it then? Did they just implant it? How did that one... It was a woman. Oh, that yeah. turned into a man. Oh, that's right. Right. Uh, okay. uh, uh, she still had a pussy down there. But she had a beard. I done fuck bitches with beards. That ain't shit. God damn it. I ain't no kissing fool anyway. All them kissing ass niggas, that shit will bother them. I don't, I don't even think to kiss when I fuck half the time. I be like, bitch, oh, kiss? Damn. Oh, hey. you're missing out. Look, some people you can kiss, but most people you can't. That is some intimate ass shit, That's kissing. Mm. That's true. Putting your tongue in an ass ain't nastier than kissing. And then he just drinks his water. <laughs> Who what? He let the debate. Let the debate begin. What's nasty? A mouth or an asshole? Mouths be nasty. Depends too. on what who what you put in that mouth. But it's an on unwashed what you put in that asshole. Ass. An unwashed, unwashed you ass. That. Now you got okay. An unwashed vegan bitch ass. That's safe. It might stink, but it's safe. Better than kissing. I don't think it would even stink though, because you know they don't even. What? <laughs> Kissing a bitch who ate an Italian beef 30 minutes ago is some unsafe wow. shit. This bitch got gardenia peppers in her throat. Somebody said Corey's eating bearded ass. <laughs> <laughs> Corey's, Corey nose made for ass stiffening. Corey McMuffins. Fuck you. That sounds like a homosexual nigga right there. Get who your moist that? ass off the chat room. Right. Uh-oh. Right. <laughs> Vegan couch smell like kale. That's funny. Marcus Moore. <laughs> Vegan bitches, they couch me like kale. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> anyway. All right. Zoe smell Corey's mic. Okay. Uh, that was kind of funny. Huh? Anyway. Right. I'll eat Diaz. Anyway, we ain't going to repeat that shit. Oh. 
You will eat anybody ass, motherfucker. You don't know what. D a nature girl, goddammit. D think after you shit, you ain't supposed to take a shower. Right, you know, D? Cricket what? wings Nobody in his mouth. Nobody said anything like that. <laughs> You're just putting things out there. I never said that. You ain't never said after you shit, it ain't mandatory to take a shower. Right. We've never even talked about that. Whoa. We were, we were saying how deep involved you are about the cleanliness of your ass not just the outside you got on bobby about that we were like you were like you go up in it i don't like, always clean my ass god damn it i'm saying like sometime i get on the plane i shit on the plane no uh, you're one of those people because i've heard you, you shit before. on the plane he i've shit in a plane bathroom before don't, yeah no uh -uh. i don't believe it i take my t-shirt off and lay it across the thing i know how to <laughs> bite a little bit you bite the t-shirt, you bite Come a on. hole in the middle of the shirt, on, and then you rip, you rip it, and it's an ass thing. Well, your ass can sit on there. You use an entire t-shirt to cover a toilet. I'm on the plane. I don't need it. That it. <laughs> That's what happened. It's a sacrifice you made when you got a shit on the plane. I'm not putting my bare ass. <laughs> they have the paper covers in there, Corey. They what have. I do is I put make I make a little ass gasket <laughs> with my t-shirt. If you bite the middle and you rip it, then I rip the rim off the T-shirt, this part. All that to go to the bathroom. Because I piss first. And when I'm in the bathroom on a plane, only thing is my ass. I hold my dick while I'm shitting because I don't Too want much. my dick to touch that little rim <laughs> that people pissed mm. off. So my dick be in my hand. Oh. Like when you catch a frog at the lagoon. I just be holding that motherfucker. What? And like you catch a frog at the lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> what? Man, yo, yo. what? Don't even know what that's like because wow. you ain't catching nothing. You I caught a frog. I used, to catch, I used to catch bullfrogs so at the lagoon in Washington Park. But you can't Somebody catch said, a This nigga strips in airplane bathrooms. That's what I'm saying. I that's don't take my pants all the way off in airplane bathrooms wow. because it's too small in there. But in regular bathrooms, I normally shit naked to make sure all the shit get out my ass. What uh, is the outside? What's the clothes? In the, I, I, I always go in the okay. stall. <laughs> I grab two, two sets of toilet paper. They normally got two sets of toilet paper. You rip it out of there and you put your foot on each one so your ass is up. So you can shit harder and more direct. So you're using the squatty potty. That's the squatty I create a squatty potty with Did toilet not. paper. You would have been a man you should With his shirt wrapped around the rim like, of the God. toilet. Right, to catch, um, I don't want my dick to touch the, the toilet. I sacrifice his shirt. I'm in my sacrifice a new Sean John shirt. <laughs> uh -oh. So I can no. shit in the bathroom without my dick touching that thing. But one time I had to shit. And a little piss shot up on me. But it was my piss. I don't give a fuck. It's my piss. I just washed my hands. And <laughs> when my shirt was wet, I, it, I used a little blow dry thing in the bathroom. It was straight. It was Nobody could really smell it. Nobody knew what the smell was but me. Have you ever blow dried piss on a shirt? Do you know how much, this sound, how much time you probably took in there? Well, what do you do? You leave with a shitty ass, don't you? No, and I use a little paper cover. You got look piss things you piss out of. You, I saw a commercial for that shit. You missing out on life. The female piss shirt shooter, squirter thing. Doing all that. That's no, I'm not. I gotta be out. I'm in bed. Do you know them long <laughs> flights to LA be like four, five hours? God damn it. Sweet P. Holcomb. Sometimes when you wake up, see when I wake Miss up. Lips. And I got to walk around. I'm just saying, like, I normally have to shit after a while. My shit is regular. When I ate some bullshit last night, when I wake up, after about the after about the 158 step, that's when I had to shit. <laughs> you got it down to the so step. About 158 steps. So the moral of the story is, if you're on a flight with Corey... I, a lot of times, you time, better go use the bathroom before he uses the same. Most one. of the times, I shit before I get on the flight. If my flight leaves at six in the morning, I wake up at four so I can get them 158 to 200 steps in, and then I shit. But sometimes, all the shit don't be ready to come out. It break off in your ass. Okay, I think we've heard enough. All right, all right, shit. we've heard oh, enough. Damn. We've heard enough. Hey, fuck y'all, man. Exactly, he should borrow. Y'all not honest night. about y'all shit. You should borrow one of my covers. <laughs> Zoga is shark. Oh, when you fly, you should do that. Zoga is shark shit. Where it so. depends. Anyway. Where it depends. Right. You can't shit without people smelling it. You got to shit in a hole. 
Look can you, you can imagine go a with, you can go big ass baby <laughs> Corey wearing the diaper <laughs> they don't even and he make shits it size. on a plane? They don't make it size. Oh my god! Everybody be looking at you like <laughs> King of Boo Booic Boys Club. I go saw on. that. <laughs> Change your diaper, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> While at Foxhole, Corey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> shits anyway. in water. Fuck y'all. Look. <laughs> We're going to have an abbreviated show because y'all don't know how exhausting Ooh. it was to run to the, what's the name of that store? Orchard. Orchard Supply. Hardware Supply. To get cords long enough to steal electricity in this vicinity. <laughs> we are, we are stealing it. Right. Nigga, we plug, this we is plug, a pirate show right We now. plugged into Wendy's, nigga. <laughs> y'all think I'm bullshitting, no. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no. We fucked up. In the game. And, and maybe during the break we could film shit talking motherfucker. I could periscope or film some of the. It's just yeah. we ghetto in a motherfucker tonight. But we doing it for y'all. See, that's extra super duper special. Did you go over the new shirts? Can we get the shirts on the show? Like, can, can the camera see them? Yeah, they're looking at it right now. No, or you have to you have to go wider, Frank. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Now. Okay, hold on. But is there what what what? They're behind oh, you, you both of them. Which camera? Hold on, hand. hold on. We'll, well, no. What we'll do? What we'll do? We'll wait. Oh, you want to wait then? Okay. Because we're gonna let, we're gonna give D some shirts to just hold in her hand. All right. All right. All right. All right. Sounds good. Unless you want to do it now. No, I All just right. thought I didn't know I was gonna make make you a comment your, on you this. You got your uh, L T A B right? Is that what it is? Yeah, L tabs. L tabs. They ready? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, fuck y'all. We 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 on one tonight. Fuck oh y'all. We trying to get through this shit. Uh, this is a part of the show that's probably worse than the fat burger we plugged into down the street. Uh, this is um, a part of the show uh, known to most as D's loose talk about bullshit. And um, proceed, nigga. And may I say, <laughs> I know, right? Oh, my gosh. And may I say that this is my last one spent in my 40s. This is your last one spent in your 40s? This is the last one that I'll be doing in my 40s. Do you still get a period? Oh, my God, Corey. That is just way too too personal. <laughs> That's but not yes, an answer. Do. You do? Of course. As long as you bleed, you ain't old. All you bitches uh, out there who ain't bleed no more, it's been one for your ass. <laughs> Oh, your pussy is for pissing and pounding. Did anybody once you, mention the word oh, Once you stop bleeding, your pee-pee. pussy is for pissing and pounding. <laughs> you got a pee-pee. Right? Oh, my God. Pee-pee. Pissing and, P- pissing and pounding. <laughs> anyway. Once uh, you stop bleeding. So wait, you still bleeding, you good. Pee-pee. Anyway, I'll be 50 by the time we do the next show. I we don't give a fuck, but I'm just telling you. you no, know I'm just You bullshit. Better, Happy birthday, D. When is, your, when is your real birthday February since you done capitalized off that party? February 26th. February 26th? Mm-hmm. That's 1967. That was a good year. Damn. Well, you old dinner See, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. I'm fucking with you, D. Like, Happy D birthday. Like, uh, Thank you so much. There's a few 50 years old. 50 he was year old that look good. Heather Locklear old. Yeah. Heather Locklear. That is messed Stupid. up. And I think she's actually older than me, but anyway. All right. Wow. Well, Charlie's on. Angel old. Yeah. I'll Heather take that. Locklear. It was one of my favorite shows. Right. <laughs> Farrah that. Fawcett Major's old in this one. <laughs> anyway. All right. Let's keep moving on. PP. <sighs> Pisces? Is that what you yeah. want? Yeah. Somebody said happy birthday, Pisces. Thank That's the only you. reason I know. That's right. Two fishes. All right. So. Um, <laughs> they say deep pissing and pounding in a pamper. <laughs> no, I only wear that on long drives. Right. Pissing pound and pamper. Anyway. All right. <laughs> Go what ahead. The hell? Fuck it. Come I'm sorry. On. Go Stop. Ahead. Don't look up there. All right. All right. Anyway, we've been seeing Let's even more signs, income. right, of how incompetent 45 is since he's been in office. But this one's a doozy. It seems like he was preoccupied or he just doesn't care. But if you haven't seen this yet, he held a party at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. And a damn guest was able to not only take several photos with the what's often referred to as the atomic football carrier. What's that? Hold on. But the guest also posted up other photos on his Instagram of him, of him not only with the carrier, this guy, 
uh, describing who the man is and what the job entails. The guest also posted up photos of Trump supposedly when he received, because during this party is when he received um, the call that North Korea was um, doing a nuclear missile test. The guy even has pictures of all this happening. That's his carrier. Uh, uh, that's the bag. The Smithsonian has that official, that's a official bag. That's the picture. And it's, it's clamped securely on that guy's arm. So they'd have to chop the guy's arm off. Who the nigga? He, hold on. Immediately after these photos were posted up, people started calling for several resignations, saying that someone allowed a possible international crisis to be played out to his country club members at a party like it was okay, like it was cool. No other president has ever had this happen. The carrier is now possibly... He got a nigga bag toter. Wait. The, the guy, yes, his, it's not the bag toter. It is the... <laughs> it is, they call it... Yeah. He anyway, got a nigga toter. Wait. His nigga name bag. is Ricardo Turner. Ricardo? Yeah. Well, they call him Rick. He said Rick, but his official name is Ricardo. Boy, some motherfuckers want to be a boy so bad. I'll kill your bag for you. Well, he was in the service. What they do is they pick them. But What's in the bag? Oh, you guys. Ooh. Watermelon for that motherfucker. Okay, what it is is this follows the president everywhere, okay? It's, it's the briefcase, basically, that carries the... Hold on one second, because I want to make sure that this is, and, this is described correctly. It? Stop it. I'm going to put mine on, too, to help her. Okay. It is officially known as the president's emergency satchel, the so-called nuclear football. It's a portable hand-carried and is built around a sturdy aluminum frame encased in black leather. A retired football is actually emptied. Hold on. You know what? You're going to get it. you just mad because you can't read so that. He, I he can read it. the nuclear codes to it, a party. It, 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 exactly. Well, it has to stay near them. And here's the thing. The other presidents have never had this much exposure of it. You'll see the guy. The a lot launch of other codes. people have seen He had the launch codes with him. Mm, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> now Wait, you just made my, me lose my place. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold Go on. ahead. Let me let your brain settle down. Go ahead. Shush your <laughs> trap. I see it. It's settling down. <laughs> Shut up, Corey. <laughs> Damn you. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm over lost in the mouth. I well, you guys were asking me quite. I turned around. Now I'm looking for my place. It throw you off that hard to turn around? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like I said, it's called the nuclear football. It ne- it never leaves the president's side, which allows him to authorize a nuclear strike at any moment. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you? Your struggle is hilarious. I just said it. It's called the nuclear football. It's, no, it's known <laughs> as the atomic football. It's the president's emergency satchel. It so, contains what now? I just want to make sure. He Donald got, Trump. Hold on. Yes. Got a bag tote nigga with him. They all do. They all have had this guy. His, the same nigga? No. That's his right now. Well, who did, who did, who did um. He wasn't the dude for Obama? No. And the Who contents, carried it for Obama, uh, boy George? I, I, I didn't have that for this story. Anyway, the contents of which are used for the president of the United States to authorize a nuclear attack <laughs> while away. Wait a second. The reason why it's carried is because whenever he's away from the White House, they need to have this ready. So it, it, it stays with him. That's what the, you was that confused to say that. They need to have this ready. Now go. You're going to get it. <laughs> You made me lose my place. Again? <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Come on now. Come on. We're going to have to get you a phone with the big words. All right, here we go. It's not the big words. A big ass cricket. It right. contains the nuclear launch codes. Okay. Okay. That's and what you were trying to find? What? Go ahead, do my bad. I can't make any. See how you just keep it around and then you, and then you make quiet. fun of it that go you ahead. keep it. Well, that was that. Done. Oh, that was the end of that story. That was it. Okay. For sure? I'm just saying that this particular guest who was at the party was able to take all these pictures. Wait, and it gets better. He even has pictures of Trump when he received the call that North Korea was doing that, launching those test missiles. So they put him up like it was just cool and casual, where no other president has ever, ever done anything like that. So people were very upset about that. I should have gave Frank that picture because a picture of him on the phone is incredible. Like the guy put up very private pictures going on. You anyway. bullshit. All right. So let's move on. <laughs> Can I say something? Yeah. Okay. First of all, D, you blind in the motherfucker. I but am look, not blind. 
mind you kept asking, and I would turn Somebody and talk said, to you. And I'm, so? <laughs> exactly. God. Let's move on. Go well, ahead. Let me say this. Mm-hmm. I think it is embarrassing <laughs> that he got a black man carrying his bag. Regardless, how much do he get paid to get a bag for Trump? That's what I want to know. Do you know that? No, I don't think that they even disclose that. I don't think so. What is his I official job a- called? Exactly, because he's in the service, and it's always a, a guy from the service. So who knows exactly how they get that position and what they're paid? I don't know. I know how they got that position. Cooning. Well, that's a military man. I don't know if he was cooning. Mm-hmm. I just think that's his. A lot of military coons, God damn it. Oh, that's his mission. Exactly. And Your mission is to carry this bag. I started with my life. <laughs> Nothing was happened to this bag, so. I name a child after you. All right. My bad. Go anyway, ahead. but isn't that interesting though? But isn't that? But how embarrassing though that they just did that so frivolously? Like they just had this party and people were taking pictures and posting them up, and it's crazy. You should have wore a fez. Who did? Okay. Never mind. Go Here ahead. We go. I don't know. Where did that come from? Anyway, uh, on a much lighter note, for those that are uh, familiar with the restaurant chain Cracker Barrel. Now you can do this. And oh, 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 hold on now. I'm scared to say someone something. I don't want to throw you off. No, but someone got so excited. I was scared. Put your finger on the point where you hold stop on. reading. I just heard his belly start rumbling. Hold on now. Once I said Damn. Cracker Barrel. Damn. All right. <laughs> so speaking of Cracker Barrel, it is finally. It is finally coming to California. <laughs> you bullshit. The large restaurant chain that's known for its home style cooked meals has 600 restaurants in over 42 states, but has never had one in California. So now, if you feel like making that damn near hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending on traffic, to Victorville, California, which is in the Mojave Desert, off the no, 50 freeway, cool. you can attend it. They're just, On the way to Vegas. Yeah, they're just now breaking That motherfucker going to be so crowded. That's what they said. That was, that, that was the idea because it's... You ain't even be able to go in there. Well, they, they, they're, they're... Cracker barrel. They're planning on that because they know where they're putting it, where everybody can gets off the freeway and sees it. That drive to Vegas got this restaurant where they sell gyros. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, D? Yeah, what's the name of that place? Everybody who drives from L.A. to Vegas, what's the name of that place to sell gyros? It's about an hour and the 20. Mad Greek? The Mad Greek, you knew what it was. Of course, because they had one in my hometown. Man, that motherfucker make money all Handle. day <laughs> long. Yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. getting off that freeway, going to get a gyros, gyros sandwich. <laughs> so if you place certain restaurants... That ride from Vegas to L.A., you, you going to get that paper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You going to get that paper. So, yeah. good, good smart shit, Cracker Barrel. We're going to yeah. put the 5150 out there. You have to make a trip. You have to make a nice little trip there. Euro Town. If somebody said Mad Greek, they know. They know. All the Mad motherfuckers Greek who drive good. from Vegas, especially yeah. during the day, which I don't know what the fuck you driving to Vegas, especially on a Sunday. Mm. We're going to leave about noon, go back mm. to shit. It's no. going to take you six to eight hours to get back. It breaks down to one lane. Four, and that's yeah, yeah. that four-hour ride. Though. It's a four-hour ride from L.A. to Vegas on average. Mm. Yeah. If you leave Vegas Sunday afternoon, you're not getting back till Sunday night. <laughs> like 10 o'clock. <laughs> right. Oh. right. It'd be sitting still. Well. Yeah. It's true. No way around it. You're right. Yeah, you got to ride through that desert. That traffic nigga. Whole well, bunch of Well, they're still in the talks of the train. Two hours from LA to Vegas. They're still in the talks about that. That fast train, because they have yeah. a train now. Yeah. No, the direct train from LA right through the desert, LA to Vegas. No stopping, no nothing. Just direct. It'd be that going be fast. Good. Yep. That's so, be good. Let's hope for that. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> All right. So everybody that makes fun of me. Munching on insects. Let's go. Oh, God. Angelina Jolie last week uh, just posted this up. She did an interview with the BBC, and she happened to be in Cambodia. There she is. She is munching on a delicacy, which is a tarantula, Um, fried, of course. Anyway, she's been spending a lot of time in Cambodia because two of her adopted children are from Cambodia. Uh, anyway, she was doing the interview, and the interviewer asked her, like, oh, what's up with the, you know, the, cur- the cuisine here in Cambodia? She goes, oh, it took me a while. You know, it's an acquired taste, but I'm now a day. She loves it. 
She likes to eat so tarantulas. So she showed him. She showed him that her and her children eat crickets, scorpions, fried spiders. I love it. I'm so excited. So there you go. D, have you ever eaten a cricket? A fried one, yes. Cricket, worm, snake, deer, bison. I've had bison. Yeah, everybody's bison. You've had bison? Bison. bison what does it taste bison like? Is Buffalo. Healthier. It tastes like beef. It's, it's, it's healthier good. than turkey Leaner. and chicken. You and bullshit. Leaner. No. And if you go to Catalina Island, they literally roam the other side of Catalina Island. So bison. Bison. Yep. Yeah. That's the big, yes, big swole huge. cow. Cow buffalo. that work out. It's like a buffalo, yeah. <laughs> 24 hour fitness ass cow. A swole cow. Right. A bison? Yeah, she's good. Mm. Yeah, I, I saw on, on that movie, The um, the Revenant, where that man, the Indian, caught the bison and he uh-huh. was eating it. Yeah. And old boy was like, food, food. He was like, yeah, eat some bison <laughs> meat, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Very healthy. She's yeah. good. All right. Well, let's move on. I it- ate a bitch. But I ain't never ate a bite. <laughs> Here we go. In uh, regarding NFL drama, we have some drama regarding wide receiver for the Denver Broncos, Emmanuel Sanders. You bullshit. Now, what happened to him? There we go. That's the bitch he married? That's his wife. You fucked up, nigga. That bitch is They're going through. Ba- oh, wait, I'm going to Denver this week. Let wait me a shut second. The fuck up. They are in the midst of, some, of, a, of a divorce. No shit. But, Look at that but bitch. Wait, you're that gonna... bitch pussy belong to the game. Oh my God. Hold on. What? Look at that bitch. That bitch ain't about to anyway, be with you. Anyway, he's going through that bitch a, ain't a, about to be with a you. hell of a divorce. His <laughs> wife. Now listen closely. This, she this, looked like a fake bitch. Listen too. closely because this brings up some things that are connected to you. Um, his it's wife. Connected to me? No, like sayings. Hold on. Pump your brakes now, kid. Um, oh. Anyway. Hey, try to read it, D. Anyway, she is claiming. Hold on. He nut quick. Oh my! She is claiming in court because these (laughs) documents have just been released to the public. She is claiming, and these were the exact words, that he has blown away a fortune on side chicks. Yeah! And she is declaring war, saying that that he's a a cheater as well as spends a lot of money on his side pieces. Now here's the deal: he she know. (laughs) <laughs> he has a strange wife. They're not divorced yet, so she's just as a strange wife. That means they're not together. So that they're not divorced yet. Not yet. They're going through the divorce. Now listen, Gabriella Sanders, that's her, balls, the mother of his two children. She told the court that he's used monies from the community estate. That means she's saying he's spending our money on these women. On these bitches. Now remember any routes? I mean, hold on. I know it's the, remember the now, guys. <laughs> hold on now. Remember that. The ruling that Shelly Sterling won. Shelly Sterling? You mean Sterling from the Clippers? Shelly Sterling. Remember that she won that one ruling? This girl is doing the same thing. So she's suing all those women, the side pieces. And she's claiming that some of these side pieces, uh, that, that, that she's going to do the same to them that Shelly did, suing them. And, she and precedence the now. courts will make them pay back Hold whatever up. he gave. Wow. He was buying bitches' cars. <laughs> he, she she claims she has proof that he bought one good car and every all the other ones he's given multitude of things to. How are they gonna get the money back if them, them bitches spent that money? Them well, bitches need that money. They're suing them just like Steviano. She had to uh, she had to be Steviano. She had to turn in the car. In other words, she's going to try and do what Shelly did to those girls. But let me say this. He please. just, Emmanuel just signed a $53 million extension with the Broncos, but with only $27 million guaranteed. Go ahead. D, this is what I'm trying to say. The dumb bitch who, 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 who was fucking all the homies, the bitch from the Clippers, this bitch was fucking with a motherfucker with money. That ain't no money what that motherfucker got. To those women on the streets, that is. Those yes, girls but I'm saying when his yeah. wife tried to collect mm-hmm. the little money that he gave them bitches, that money gone. But them she bitches ain't, that back. you might she get a car with miles on it back, bitch. You might get uh, a couple of outfits and some shit. <laughs> Them bitches to throw that shit at that bitch. Yeah, put it on, bitch. Right, but I'm, I'm fucking the other nigga on the Broncos right. now that I met at the party with this nigga. <laughs> right. But what I'm you can't saying stop is, these bitches. No, but what I'm saying is, guys need to be aware. They're not aware of that that they can still do that. And they eat, remember what happened to Fantasia? That other woman when she oh. was married with she was messing with the married man. That other woman sued her 
And then he ended up leaving Fantasia and got back with her. Well, Vanta- Fantasia looks Uh-oh. very we go. attractive, mm-hmm. made up. What does that have to do with anything? I'm saying made up. She's very attractive. When she Here puts on her. I love Fantasia. When she puts on her makeup and all that shit, she Frank, looks. find a picture of Fantasia. She looks she's, very attractive, but without the makeup. It's not true. She's, she's, she looks like no. Steve Russell. Oh, stop. She's got great skin. The lead singer true. Just kicking in with my music. <laughs> Anyway, they got to be aware of these guys because these Come women on. do that. If you married, you bound to the courts. The woman can do what's anything. The, what's the baseball player who, who plays for the Yankees? The pitcher, the big dude, CC what? CC Sabathia. She looked like CC Sebastian oh, without the cut makeup. It out. Yes, she does. Come on. No. No. She's er, James Earl Jones. Fantasia has an excellent body. You're young right? James, James Earl Jones. Jones. She looks like a young James Earl Jones without the makeup. She, I know. Wait a minute. Somebody Olden just, Polonies. Damn. They say that. Was, <laughs> hee-haw fine. What? Hee-haw fine. <laughs> God damn. Horse face fine. Oh. Come on. I'm saying without that makeup on. Oh. That's how she look. Look at that. What is wrong with that? What? That ain't no bitch you keep. That's a bitch you skeet. <laughs> oh. You <laughs> better keep this bitch. That bitch. You want some breakfast? Take their wigs and shit off. Bitch, I don't want to see that bitch right now. I'm yeah, here. Because you guys know when Wait till we've been happen. together a little while. Right. Well, or, or, or at least at night, let me fuck the fake bitch tonight. God damn it. I'll see the real bitch if I get to like you for real. Or some shit like that. Or some women look good naturally, like without no accessories on their body, eyes. Because these eyelashes is another motherfucking tricky ass motherfucking thing. <laughs> I didn't know how motherfucking important eyelashes are. But all you bitches who done plucked your eyelashes out. I la- they don't pluck eyelashes. You talking eyebrows? He talking about them big fan eyelashes. Oh, but you don't pluck those out. Where, who's plucking <laughs> no, them out? D, what you don't understand, because you obviously don't do this. Those are your eyelashes, right? Right, and I don't have any mascara on. Listen, women... Put big <laughs> ass eyelashes I on. I know this. Some of them even put And to take them eyelashes. off, they just yank, yank their eyelashes out. No, they yank the fake ones out, and some of them come out with us. What you're saying? No, they don't th- do it on these purpose. bitches ain't got no more eyelashes. Right. They, so these they bitches, to wear right. The fake ones, right? They, that's what I'm saying. And, and when you see but a bitch in the morning like without that. eyelashes, you be like, wow, that make a difference in your face. Right. It makes Let's a difference see. on how you look. Just like when you see the bitches 
who are so used to having their hair pulled back due to some braids or whatever, and then they finally just get tired of the head pressure, and you see the head pressure. The head pressure. It hurt. They can't ignore it forever. Braids Bitches be like this all day long. Hey, how are you? I'm about to go to the store right now. I'm gonna go to work because they didn't had some type of shit pulling. The hair right, right here is weaker than the hair up here, obviously, because oh. mm. bitches who edges are missing. Mm. Need to go ahead and allow yourself. Is, oh, I see. To let your edges grow back. What's because, wrong with them fake eyelashes down there? No, but those are decent. I know what he's talking about. Them when Tammy Faye Baker joints that oh, are like that's the, the that's like totally in that. These that, bitches got dollar dollar ninety nine fake lashes on, and they look like dollar ninety nine fake lashes. And then these bitches be like, "Why you didn't call me after I gave you some pussy, bitch? Look at your eyelash." Mm, mm, mm. I just wanted to get through the night and fuck, bitch. I bought you some drinks. Look, can we, we even see, can we see a really Hennessy nice for your pussy? That's square. Oh, what one? Of Fantasia. Oh, she's got plenty. They're going to pitch it. Oh, look at them. Stop. That is a perfect. Uh, that's what you're you talking find about. Per- right that's there. ridiculous. It seemed like that's exaggerated, but it's not. That's what you're she talking about. She thinks that right really there. looks cute. It's wow, bitches out her. here who walk the streets looking like wow. idiots and want you to take them seriously. Right. Stop. They ain't got no more eyebrashes. She can't they, see. How's she going to open them all the way up? They tape the eyelash to their eyelid um, skin. Well, it's That's supposed to be crazy. on the skin, but down low. Right. Well, these they bitches, it, these bitches oh be blinking, God. God damn it. You be like, bitch, it's hot out here. Blink on me. Fan me, bitch. <laughs> I need you to blink on me with them big That's ass crazy. eyelashes. Blink on me. Cool I'm me about down. to still on this bitch so her eye wiggle and shit, and I can cool <laughs> off outside. <laughs> That is crazy. And Fantasia got a hell of body. Yes, she does. Show she, Fantasia. She, I love it. Google she, current picture of Fantasia. She works out. Let's see body. what pop up. Fantasia equal Willie real. D. <laughs> wow. Stop. I talked to Willie D on the phone today, That's too. That's homie, man. <laughs> Willie D cool to the motherfucker. I like Fantasia. <laughs> they go, That's Frank, one of my favorite. you able to find a picture uh, of Fantasia with as she look now? Badass body. Because I ain't saying she no ugly bitch. That'd be a lie. But what I am saying, you ain't no bitch I'm finna brag on. Are you for I'm real? I'm not finna brag on Fantasia. You're gonna be like, well, you seen my bitch? Nigga, let me go get this bitch out she, the house. She always has some Hey, nice baby, come on out here on the porch. She always has some nice looking brothers on she has some nice looking ones. Brothers with her, like this latest one that she's. Why does Fantasia? She have- Fantasia, beat your ass, D. She be like, <laughs> Fantasia, no, I like Fantasia. Fuck away from these niggas, I'm not trying to get with them. I'm just saying she always uh-huh. has some really handsome. Now that's a picture of her at her best, right there. And Look that's older because that was that's on the American Idol. But she and now man, Frank is just like Chris. They be picking the worst, worst? picture. No, Why are you saying bad. that's the worst picture? That's how she really looked, God damn it. On the NFL bad. side of the game, that's she how she looked. Hell it, I love her teeth. Frank and Chris are the same dude. I saw her perform the color the purple picture. at the Pantages. <laughs> she killed it. Oh, he said Fantasia equals Shannon Sharp. <laughs> right, her Skip damn. Bayless be on She's there in the morning. She's one of my favorites. She's one of my favorites. No mercy, and I'm a bad guy. That's the only part I hate about this show. Look, Wavy, I'll be like, nigga, get your. <laughs> you see that nigga? What Look. are you talking about? Do you have you ever watched? Cause see, I don't watch First Take no more. Oh, and Little Wayne's. Been Everybody who America. tells me about um, what's the coon name? Um, the nigga with no hair. The nigga I always talk about when I used to watch I don't that know shit. Those. You know him, though. Stephen A. Smith. I don't watch first take no more. It is a disgrace to my race because there's a man on there who wants to be accepted mm. by his Caucasian boss. So he will say whatever he has to say about black people to. Try to make it seem like he's on their side. But I'm here to let you know, Coon A. Smith. They know why you saying what you saying because they got you in check. So, but I don't watch him. Mm-hmm. I watch, watch Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Right. Because Shannon Sharp, whatever somebody want to say about him, at least I feel like this man speaks in a way where he is representing himself. Mm-hmm. And he always... Refers to his grandmother. Mm-hmm. He's representing her when he talk. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He say, uh, I, for, I don't know her name, but he'll be like, um, 
so and so, so and so taught me this. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like he a brother who proud to be a brother and speaks on stuff that he know may or may not be popular amongst people who are not used to a brother speaking proudly of himself and his race. So he stands up. And right. He, he, well, he truth. stands up a lot more. And, and, he, and, he, and I, he goes in on brothers when they wrong. Hmm. But it, you could tell it's not what Stephen A. Smith does. Stephen A. Smith wants to impress somebody. Hmm. And it's embarrassing. I can't watch him no more. He's right. a coon. So I don't know what be going on with Stephen A. Smith. So when people tell me, did you see what Stephen A. Smith did? I mean, like, I don't even watch that shit no more. Mm. I don't okay. watch that shit. Okay. Fuck Stephen A. Smith. All right. hmm. so, so that was it. I mean, I was going to do some coverage on the, uh, the uh, All-Stars, but I just kept hearing. I didn't watch any of it, but I just kept seeing a bunch of outtakes from people. And it seemed like everybody was complaining about it. What did I miss? They were saying that it was just it was one of the well, worst Well, the All-Star game, they, they don't play defense and they let. No, but they said even the contests were boring and even the, the performance in the middle of John Legend. Everybody was just complaining. What the about fuck it. is John Legend going to sing? I don't know. I didn't watch I mean, he it. has was a it, good. So it wasn't good? John Legend has a good voice. But if he ain't singing, what was the name of that movie, Selma? Oh. I never if he it. ain't singing no sob black shit, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, the Negro spiritual. Right. Yeah. God damn it. We will be free. I mean, motherfuckers put him in their album, and he come up with some catchy shit. But John Legend by yeah, himself, they had somebody to kick it up. He the reason he can't him? excel, in my opinion, as a singer, is because he's not singing from the heart. Sing about the dick you received, John Legend. Go ahead, and sing about it. Try it. Try to be honest. Stop saying a woman just because that's popular. I know you got a wife, and there's a lot of motherfuckers out of here who prefer dick but fuck their wife. Look at Barkley. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, you know, it's time for you to be real and sing from the heart. Sing about the dick received that you have had, John Legend. And maybe them people who get down like that will support you and buy your album and your record sales will soar. We're coordinary. Wait, what? what? <laughs> We're not coordinary people. Coordinary people. Oh, right. Oh, my God. That's what he needs to sing. Wait, I believe the dick in my ass is raw. Did you watch it? Wow. Did you watch it? Coordinary. Well, I can't watch no fucking John Legend. I'm not mad at the at the. I mean, I saw the nigga in front of the improv. I didn't want him to speak to me, so I looked away. I looked away because them little, them little, them little, them little moist motherfuckers are cool, but. I'm just saying, it's like, I mean, I, I mean, hey, what's up, my nigga, you good? I, it's your ass oh. Uh, but uh. if he sing about the, 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 the moist shit, I mean, everybody get on me about this shit, and then they find out later on, everybody is starting to find out that the man Barack Obama was on the island with is a, is a homosexual billionaire. Is he? No. What? Corey just, uh, whatever. What? That's the dude that owns Virgin Airlines, yes, right? Yes, that's Mary has a family, whatever, but Corey, to him, I don't know. Just, I, what? I don't know. I think anybody who's and not this motherfucker on a retreat, like look, an alpha strong If you male, see me on a retreat, you're gonna see me with my woman or some females gonna be there. You're not gonna see me on an island with a nigga. That is violation. But me and Zoe ain't going on no island together. If me no. and Zoe on an island, there's gonna be some bitches out there. They're gonna be beautiful bitches that Zoe think beautiful. They, they, were, they were there. Though. They just happened to have those pictures of them. Anyway. I could be with an ugly bitch on the island. You know what it is. I ain't got to explain it. Soon they as niggas see the ugly, ugly bitch, they're going to be like, boy, you stupid to the buff. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is. They're going to uh, be beautiful, though. This bitch motherfucking get drunk with me, god damn it. And when it get dark out here on them islands, you can't see your hand in front of your face. That's why I got this bitch with me. Her throat is beautiful. A beautiful bitch's throat. With an ugly face is better than a cute bitch who ain't got no throat game. Now, how about that? Mm. This is some anyway. shit. Put on the spot, Zoe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which one you want? Ugly bitch, throat game, immaculate. I'm talking about that type of shit where you be like, oh, well, You this can always bitch. close your eyes. I'm saying, but or a real cute bitch with no throat skills. I take Impossible ugly to ski. With throat game. Them ugly bitches with throat game be worth their weight in gold. 
Take him to the mall and shit. <laughs> Zoe will show up in Aruba with Leslie Jones. <laughs> Who is Leslie Jones? I don't know. Oh, Big Liz. Yes, <laughs> That's what I don't know. I can't about. fuck Big Liz, goddammit. I can't have that foot in the air next to my motherfucking shoulders. Anyway. That foot gonna throw me off. And I ain't mad at her. <laughs> you got I mean, I heard somebody else mention that. What? I'm like, damn, Corey, this this shit Corey talks about gets around. What? The foot in the air. In the air? I what? heard a girl talking about, like, I wouldn't want to see somebody's foot in the air. I said, wait a minute. It? Where did you hey, get some, <laughs> Wait a nigga second. Say. It's some bitches out here when they feet are next to your shoulder. It's a beautiful thing. You see it. You're like, yeah, this bitch all right. Sometimes you put the bitch foot in your face. But there's some bitches out here. <laughs> This nigga is definitely in the foot Wait. club. There's some bitches out here who foot look like bent uh. brooms. You be like, bitch, sweep the floor with that motherfucker. Don't put it next to my shoulder. Or they're flat footed. That is not attractive. You ever seen a flat bent foot? Broom. It's like flat yeah. they just flat. They just lay flat. Duck wide, bill foot, bitch. Wide, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't no know. arch at all. They couldn't join the army anyway. When you Somebody hit them from said Corey lives in L.A. The gayness is serious out there. It's serious everywhere, everywhere. motherfucker. Yeah, oh, that cities. sound like a motherfucker who ain't never been to L.A. Somebody say Leslie tougher than Corey. She is. God yeah. damn it. I, if I was getting in a fight, I'd be like, I'm with this bitch. Now what you gonna do? Right. That Corn sounds like somebody feet. who's never been outside of L.A. Because the gayest place I've ever seen, <sighs> Atlanta. Atlanta. Atlanta for black men. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I pass right through Atlanta, nigga. I don't, I don't even stop. They got a mall... Lennox Mall is oh, called yeah. a gay club. You it's going to the gay crazy. club. That's what they be like. You going to the gay club? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What what made the mall migrate there? Like what was the what was the what what, what happened? It's a there? it's a mall. No, no, no. I'm talking about the whole place, not just the mall. I'm talking about Atlanta, period. Well, it's hot and that's it was a trendy city. <laughs> Nigga said it's hot. <laughs> and, and, well, it's hot. And, and, and men who uh, prefer <laughs> asshole like hot places. <laughs> so why the they subtropical? Ain't, right, the <laughs> subtropical. They won't. They won't heat on their dick. Why? Wow. Right, it's humid. It ain't a lot of gay people in Alaska, but. <laughs> mm, anyway. No, but you know what it is. Niggas be watching TV, <laughs> and they and they get a, a perception of Excuse LA. Me. You just got to remember TMZ. Stands for 30, 30 mile zone. zone. Nigga, they go to Pasadena. Them. Go to Pomona. You know, go to the Inland Empire. Nigga, it's real motherfuckers out here. That ain't got shit to do with Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Right, you gotta I agree. You got to just remember that. Like, niggas be looking at TV thinking, oh, nigga, L.A. like this. Nigga, that's a small little piece they talking about. Well, the Hollywood game is predominantly homosexual men. And that's Hollywood, though. But Hollywood is small. Yeah. With regards to LA. You got to remember, there's 30 million people in Southern California. I need to go check on Jose. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. Motherfuckers got to get that shit together, man. We're going to have a break in a minute. Oh, dude. yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right. Because we're going to have an abbreviated show because shit is fucked up. Y'all motherfuckers do not understand. For us to have this show tonight, we wow. had to motherfucking do some motherfucking magic tricks. God damn it. You yeah. had some nigga. Well, you had somebody here to do magic tricks tonight. We had to do some magic tricks to get they this show. They were the magi- magicians. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. I'll be sleep on Frank. Frank made this shit happen. Frank and Frank um, was scrambling. His, and his beautiful, wife. beautiful wife Genevieve, over there, yeah. the smallest couple in America and Shut shit. Up. They pee. They pee every seven and a half minutes. Right, goddamn it. <laughs> Frank, both of them. They take certain turns peeing. Right, Frank. Thank you for Frank, the gorgeous the pee couple. Huge pee couple. bottle of. Um, <laughs> Of, um, Learn the word, be Patri- Google it. Shush up. I didn't right. want. Oh my God. See, see how I'm trying to. I'm, he messes me up right in the midst of something. <laughs> she you blaming yeah, me because she yeah, can't yeah. think of the word. Patron. Patron? Tequila. You have some Patron? No, I'm saying they gave me the biggest, gorgeous bottle for my birthday. Thank I you, by the way. birthday is coming up. The party I had so that you, you guys didn't them, attend. Right? How am I hustling them? You got a birthday bottle of Patron, right? On At my party because your they birthday attended. ain't here, right? Not till That's what I'm trying to say. What the fuck is you talking about? You uh, know what I'm saying? What, your birthday. You still owe Shit, me. You didn't have a party I said the 26. Right, because I had to get it from that big place. It, is your birthday today? The 26th, my okay. friend. Okay, it's the 26th. Yes. All right, all right. And so by the time the next show come around, you'll already. I'll be. Past your yes, uh huh. Okay. 
Brother Freeze um, is um, a very busy man, so he's not here a lot, but... He works, uh, man. Yeah, yeah, we got to make sure yeah. we get Freeze back in the mix. Yeah. But I'm going to start having more guest comics on the show. Mm. Um, and we're going to be talking this shit. Somebody say, Corey looked like a sky patch. Yeah, this is um, diamond, turquoise looking shit. God damn it. And I got the pants on, too. Uh-oh. And the motherfucker. I'm bringing back old school. I'm bringing back the 80s with leg warmers. D got the leg on. Damn, D. <laughs> That's all right. What? Anyway. Get that monkey beat the fuck up. In the, no, no. Flash dance. Anyway. There ain't no shit you do in front of niggas. <laughs> monkey boxing. Uh, I didn't go this way. I went straight. So it don't I- matter. That worked. Got to put your leg down. Oh, who's talking? God all damn right, it. Mr. Bigger. Do it turn you on when I do this? Bigger- oh, God, no. <laughs> No, all of a sudden it just feels warm right here. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna take a quick break. We will not be gone long because the electricity electricity might be off. We're Mint Mountain Dew. <laughs> Mint Mountain, fuck yeah! Somebody say invite invite Mark Curry. I will invite oh, Mark. Oh, that's Curry. the homie. Mark is the homie. Mark is the homie for real. Yeah. I just Ida. hope I talked to we got Ida to make it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna attend uh, that something that she's doing this weekend. Ada Rodriguez. Is it Ada or yeah. Ida? I thought it was Ida. Uh, Ada, that's what I know about. Ada, Ada Rodriguez, All the right. tall girl. Yeah, yes. I like her too. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna attend this. Uh, I gotta things. be out in Denver at the Improv. Floyd Mayweather having a birthday. I ain't gonna be able to do that for him. Hey, happy birthday, Floyd! God damn it, you about to be forty! God damn it, don't let that little McGregor motherfucker get the best of you. You got to beat his ass on is the boxing side him? of the game. Is, is, is there in the works? They should, man. He should not come out of retirement. Man, that boy can't beat Floyd in no boxing. I know, but they're but not going to box. It's going to be all out. It's not boxing. They didn't it is boxing. boxing. No, think, it's boxing. No. Do you think Floyd is going to kick Floyd and fight with that motherfucker? That's what that guy no, wants. No, no, if he wants not, to do it, what's his name? White? What's the guy that no, runs it? No, Floyd Look, is not okay. going to do that. Let me explain something to y'all. The fight is going to happen because McGregor needs the money. He ain't never made no money, money right, like, like how. Floyd, you're right. 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 Floyd make a whole, other level. A whole lot of money. McGregor make that UFC money. That UFC money ain't shit right. like no Floyd Mayweather money. God damn it. So I'm just saying that's why the fight going to happen because this motherfucking McGregor talk all that shit. But motherfucker, if you want to stop having a car note, you better get with <laughs> Floyd. <man. laughs> anyway. Hey, anyway. Man, I don't think he should fight. No, he should I don't just, think he should He's 49 that. and 0. Hmm. Train your guys. Get your guys going. You don't need to fight. He don't need that. McGregor ain't nobody in that sense. McGregor like is going to find out the skills of hand movement if he fight Floyd. I know. I, I, he going to find out I can't even hit this motherfucker. <laughs> Actually, what Floyd does is brilliant. He don't get the credit he deserves because he's a black man. And that's right. the truth. Right. If it was a white boy doing what Floyd did, he would have a um, spot on Mount Rushmore. Right. So Great white hype, great white hope, all that. That's what's up. Anyway. Yeah. We're going to take a break to piss and and get some footage of how we did this show and shit. Um, mm-hmm. We shall return. 5150. Freaking shit got you excited Oh, oh 
just feeling his potent girl is strong i've been on the road for a minute can't wait till i come home cause your love
down, you're still a grown man. A total age ain't nothing but a number, baby. Throwing down ain't nothing but a thing. I swear it's your love, got me your love. I swear it's your love, baby. It's your love. Oh, it's your love, baby. It's your love. It's your love. Your love got me going.
5150 show is back in full motherfucking physic. Uh, we're on the mic night, uh, mic right now, and um, sound like I'm doing some Donnie Simpson shit. <laughs> Remember Donnie Simpson from old, what was the Legend. name of that show? BET, uh, what BET? was that? Video Soul. Video Soul with was the fake ass laugh. Yeah. When guests say something, he'd be like, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, get your pussy ass off that motherfucker, oh, Donnie. Oh. Get your little short, fat ass. No, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Shut up, D. Hey! Oh, my God. I'm just fucking with you. Listen, uh, we are back displaying our creations, or maybe not this. This is a trendy internet shirt that we are selling here from the from, from off the internet. 5150 gear. Um, what does the shirt say, D? We hate Trump because he is racist. You hate Obama. Hated Obama because you are racist. We hate Man. Trump because he's racist. You hated Obama because you're racist. That's the shirt. One of the shirts we are selling here at the 5150 show. We don't have a whole bunch of them. So get the shirt and wear it um, to your local concert or school. Or Women's has a V-neck. You got women's shirts, yeah. And it's fitted. It's fitted. We go up to 3X, right? Yes. We got big back bitch shirts. Yes. What? Ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Shit, Lats. I, who? Lats. Women from um, Louisiana, we got your size. That's my favorite part of my body is my back. Them girls from Louisiana like, you got a 3A. Okay, Y'all well, got a 4? No, I'm just fucking with you. Anyway, we also have another shirt that I'm very proud of. It's one of my sayings. Let no, D, it. I want you to hold it up. Oh, oh shit. Here we go. Okay. Let me say something before you hold oh. it up. Here we go. This shirt is going to make 
some people upset. This is yes. and that is the intent. Oh, really? <laughs> no, people are gonna be upset. It's going to make yeah. some people upset. Yes, but oh, this is the type of shirt. I know when if I wear this shirt around my mama, she's gonna be like, "Oh my God, what is wrong with you? I will pray for you." <laughs> well, you know that saying in the church: "Come as you are." Yeah. Come as if you are. If you wearing that shirt, if you if you wear, you can't it, go to church. You wear this shirt. Uh, D hold the shirt up and let it be known. You can't go to church. This is a fact. Jesus' mom was a side chick. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) Mary, you should be ashamed of yourself. Damn. The Holy Ghost, I know he had a nice outfit on. (laughs) I know he had a real ponytail with a perm in it. But you ain't got got no business fucking the Holy Ghost. Joseph at home holding shit down. And you out there fucking the Holy Ghost. Oh, shit. The Holy Ghost was a real player. <laughs> Mary Mary was at the nightclub. The Holy Ghost was like, hey, come here, come here. Mary was like, I got somebody. That Holy Ghost, hey, fuck these that. These will be up tonight. I have to do the numbers right now, but these will be up tonight. They going to go fast. His mom was a side chick. Jesus' mom was a side chick. Wow. This is, um... This is the truth. I know and it hurts. Look at the responses. And we'll have more Atheists will buy right that up. We have a, we have a limited Buddy amount, Jesus. but we'll have more after White Jesus. We have a limited amount now. We plan on selling them all out because oh, this no. is some funny shit. So is it getting one? <laughs> Somebody, what do you say? Yo, copyright, Buddy Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I have to cop that oh, one, Corey. Right. Yeah, that one's funny. Ghost Mandingo. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, that's what it is. Jesus. Oh, yeah. I'm working on those numbers now, but go ahead and buy Jesus' mom was a side chick. Ain't nothing to be ashamed I of, man. Photo, though. Here, hold that yeah. up. You want me to hold it up? Please. No, not during. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus okay, well, you talking. You can still chick. talk. Come on. Let's you go. You can still hold talk. Hold the motherfucker up. Ready? <laughs> okay. Mary was a thought. Thank you. Mary was a thought, goddammit. Damn. Holy Ghost was at the club like, hey, bring, bring them drinks over here. We about to run this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know the Holy Ghost was a player. Somebody said, this is Corey's downfall right now. Oh, shit, them Christians. Here they come. Jesus was Judas side, bitch. <laughs> Who said that? God Philly. Damn. Hakeem. Jesus was Judas side bitch. Have you ever Somebody thought about said, that? That is a shirt I can't wear. Ah! Papa was a holy ghost. <laughs> Stop. Papa was a holy ghost. They said Jesus is Keanu. Keanu Reeves. Oh my god. <laughs> Mary was the first thought. Look what some stupid motherfucker said. <laughs> Not my mama biscuits. <laughs> there was no sex involved, dummy. But he called it me a dummy because he fell for the bullshit. That's how you get a baby. You fuck, you dumb shit. You believe that somebody got pregnant without fucking. I know your woman be like, the Holy Ghost got me pregnant. <laughs> oh, so he took so the maybe, conception. Right. Maybe the second coming is through you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I pray for all y'all who uh, refuse wow. to just think. <laughs> Somebody say, Corey, you are going off what white people taught you. No, motherfucker, you going off oh what white God. people taught your dumb ass. Mm-hmm. All that Bible shit. I love you, though. You can be a Christian. Yeah. <laughs> you can be a, a um, what's the other religion? Catholic. Catholic. That's the same thing as Christian. Yeah, exactly, but they, but they all refer to the same fellow. I make jokes out of everything. Somebody I can't follow you down this path, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> so, I ain't mad uh, at you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's the beautiful thing about the 5150 show. You can disagree with me and I don't get mad at you for it. Hmm. Speaking of disagreements, <laughs> um, somebody took heave to what I said last week when I was talking about uh, wretched women, which people act like they don't exist. If you say something about a woman, then you're wrong. And that's crazy because I'm from a place called Chicago, Illinois, where wretcheds are in large numbers. But somebody said, I'm biting off other motherfuckers' style. 
talking about wretched women. See, the thing to me is, is people what? get too territorial on certain things where it's a vast, like that subject. Come on, how are you going to coin that? Like, how are you going to lock that down and say, oh, you can't talk about abortions, you can't talk about single women. You, you can't, can't coin about- a conversation. Yes, hello, it's just a too topic. vast. Yes. I'm going to say this. They're getting like that nowadays. All you motherfuckers who hide behind memes and eggs and all that shit. Fake uh, profiles. Right. It's like, Ugh. you a fucking coward. They're sick. They've got some kind of mental problem for real. And I believe there are people who do it on purpose like the sissy mayor. I think he has fake profiles to hide behind. Mm. Because I think he was trying to talk crazy to me, but it don't matter if you do. Everything I say about you, nigga, I'm going to say it in your face. You was tough as hell on the side of the road arguing with a woman about a car accident. Calling her all out her name, all that shit. But then when the brother, uh, what's the name, popped up on your interview. What's the brother's name? Tariq. When Tariq popped up on your ass, you was very diplomatic. That mean you a whole ass nigga. Cause that nigga invaded your space and you was scared. Knuckle. So I have no respect for the sissy mayor and I have much respect for Tariq because I love real shit. When you walk <laughs> up on a motherfucker <laughs> and be like, here, here go your award, nigga. Here go your award, nigga. <laughs> that nigga was like, hey man, uh, he gonna give him eye contact at first. I was like, I love this shit. This is fucking beautiful. That's how you That's how you do a whole ass nigga. When you know it's a whole ass nigga walk right up on him. He ain't gonna do shit. A motherfucker not gonna do shit. I mean when he first came around here, I knew he was scared to bite bread. Hmm. I'm just putting that out there. Hmm. Well let anyway. me know when I if I could do shout outs this week. Get the shout outs in now to the people who support us. That's right. All right. Yeah, D, All right, me. this last Can week. Can you read it? Here we go again. I'm I just wrote, making sure it looks like it's bigger than the text. Exactly. Yeah. I wrote it big for that reason, so I don't have so to you wear can my see. glasses. Yes, thank you okay. for your concern. Uh, Car- <laughs> okay. Carl Narcisse, I think it is, or Narcisse. You still can't read the shit? No, it's pronunciation. You should have pr- you should have practiced it. No, but I Ain't can that a see Spanish it. Name? I just say, no, I can read it. I can't. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Will you help her pronounce the name right, Zoe? It's N-A-R-C-I-S-S-E. Let me see it. Narcissus. No. Narcissus. 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 Thank you. Okay. You didn't even know. Carl Narcissus from Miami, Florida. Delvin Harper from Houston, Texas. Jacoby Reynolds. He's in the service, by the way, so we don't know where he's from. Make a name Jacoby. Dijon Williams from Buffalo, New York. Mustard name, nigga. Brian Laral from Vauxhall, Laurel. New Jersey. Lou Rawls. You'll never find. <laughs> oh, stop. Lynette Thaxton from Henrico, Virginia. Thaxton. You better have a big ass. Your name, Thaxton. Thaxton with a T H A X. Yeah. That's a thick bitch right there. She's Thaxton. Ordered, Thaxton. She's ordered several times. Thank you. Thank you, Jeanette. Thaxton. That yeah. name turned my dick hard. Thaxton? You know what? <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Reggie Dunbar from DeSoto, Texas. Reggie. Angel Wilson from Little Rock, Arkansas. Angel. Nigga named Angel. Now, this name I like. Zade Turner from Richmond, Virginia. They got damn Richmond boy in that military. Quit throwing rocks at them ships in the water. Zade. Uh, Calvin Gossett from Columbus, Ohio. Travis Taylor from Jacksonville, Tennessee. Jacksonville, Tennessee. It's a Jacksonville, Tennessee? Yeah, that's what they have the mailing address as. And half Florida, half Midwest as. There you go. Derek Sh- Strachan, because it's T S T R A C H A N. Strachan. Right? Derek Stretch Bitch Chin. From Waldorf, Maryland. So we got him from all over the place representing. All over the country. Yes. Thank you for I representing. Wanna, I want to see how many people buy this. this. This Which one? Jesus was a side Matter baby, fact, sir. The first person that I have to put him up though. <laughs> we're, we're not done making a fresh. Off I want to see. Oh, that shirt gonna sell out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Let me tell you something. There are people out here who like to push the envelope. When I had that shirt, practice safe sex because pregnant girlfriends destroy marriages. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, motherfuckers yeah. used to order them shirts time and time again <laughs> just to have a fresh one on. Right. Mm-hmm. I know that shirt. They're gonna push the envelope. Goddamn. 
Man, that's going to be fresh. It's Jackson. T in Stevie Wonder. It's Jackson. Jackson, Tennessee. Stevie Wonder. Anonymous 4819 said, it's Jackson, Tennessee. That's yeah, not. I'm gonna Stevie look. Wonder. No, I've got the order right here. I'm reading it off their orders. What does it say? Jackson, Tennessee? Or is it Jackson, Jackson Tennessee? What did you say? Is it Jacksonville or, or Jackson? What did you say? Action I'm Jackson, right Tennessee. Now. Jacksonville, Tennessee. Jacksonville? Did you say Jacksonville, Tennessee, or is it Jackson, Tennessee? Obama was a sad baby. That's very true. Yeah. Who's this? Somebody say, hey, you didn't say my name. Oh, they're right. It's Speak. Jackson, Tennessee. Mm. 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 All right. Say we blame you. Me. Say I'm sorry. I'm going to say I'm sorry. I just said, <laughs> said they were right. Because you fucking up. Is there something to be sorry about that for? I said, oh, they're right. Jackson, You're naming Tennessee. cities that don't exist. Right. Hey, I got the fella's name right in the state, okay? Sorry, Travis Taylor. It is Jackson, Jackson they Tennessee. They said Jackson is 60 miles from Memphis. There's no Jacksonville, Tennessee. Jackson, Tennessee, then. There you go. Hey, I had to write them I really asked her, did she write the words it. big, right? You did say that. You well, have to start I writing wrote, the words bigger. I, I did. I wrote it big, but I wrote it wrong, okay? Uh-oh. Ew. <laughs> anyway, have you talked to Bobby lately? Uh-oh. I haven't. Well, I saw Bobby you have it? A couple of weeks ago. A week. David Banner did a lecture here in Los Angeles. He let Bobby uh, and, baptize him in the Kagan one? <laughs> Shut up. I opened up for David Banner. You opened up for him? No, Shut up. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I can't. You know what I mean. I can't with you. you Big ass popsicle. Me. You know what I mean, nigga. He didn't say Yeah, race. David. <laughs> David told me about it. Uh, I'm you looking know? up and see if I got. Uh, I don't even got a number for Bobby no more, man. Yeah, man. Uh, but I saw Bobby there, and he, you know, he was talking and talking about his uh, show and you know the things that he's trying to do. And I was, we talked for a good five minutes or so. Oh yeah, good five ten minutes. But he was at David Banner's um, speech. Yeah, he was there. What did David Banner? What was he talking about? He was just talking about. Uh, Activism in the post Obama era. So now that Obama is gone, what actions are we going to take as a people? Oh, uh, okay. You know, it was pretty good. Very good. You know, <laughs> a thousand people showed up. Wow. That's, that's big. Good. That's nice. Southern California, downtown, right next to uh, USC, thousand people in oh, the nice, rain. Nice. Traffic. Too. I love it. It was, it was huge. It was huge. That's great. At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Uh, hello, this is Corey Hoke. I'm trying to order some Kagan water from Bobby. Bobby, when you get a chance, uh, we want to order some Kagan water for the new studio. Give us a call back here at the studio, Bobby. <laughs> we, uh, we miss you a lot, Bobby. Oh, Bobby's calling back. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Bobby? Man, you know I'm asleep, man. I didn't even realize who it was until the phone stopped ringing. I looked over there and I saw C. Hope on my said, Let me see what this nigga's got to say. How you doing, man? <laughs> hey, man, I forgot you an early bird, Bobby. <laughs> I got you on speakerphone. We get ready to wrap up the 5150 show. I just wanted to say what's up because everybody be missing you. Well, man, you know, it's just good to hear from you, man, and to anybody that can hear this, man. Uh, I'm glad they uh, able to just know that we can do that, man. You still got my number. I still got yours, man. I got love for you and 5150, man. That's yeah. what's up. So you know everybody here, Zoe Bobby. and Darlene. I got, I got one more question, Bobby. Okay, one more question. I'm gonna let you go back to sleep. Hello. Yeah. Okay. What I want to know, and uh, everybody want to know, is have you still never cleaned your ass, Twizzler? I knew it. 
I wouldn't know where he was. <laughs> Bobby! <laughs> That's what's up. It's, it's, it's going to do what it do, and I'm going to just go ahead and, and be glad it stay put. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, go back to sleep, Bobby. I just wanted to hit you up, man. I'm a holler. All right, Jay Cole. Good hearing from you, brother. In a minute, boy. <laughs> Shit, I would call Portis one day, but that bitch is still my phone. I heard Portis and Speedy got into it on their show. Did y'all hear about that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad they got into it. I, don't, I want the shit to fall apart. You fucking thievery bitch. But nobody's I nobody's uh, spoken about what exactly happened. I mean, two thieves. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I don't know the de- you know the details. Play so. dumb. Two stealing motherfuckers. Both of them done got me before. I ain't mad at. I ain't mad at. I ain't mad at Speedy because see, I knew Speedy was a stealing motherfucker, <laughs> and I still was fucking with him. You know what I mean? It ain't my. It ain't, it ain't his fault. Whatever happened, he took from me. I knew he was a thief. But Portis, I knew she was an awful bitch, but I didn't know she was a thief. But now, as things have been revealed to me, I see that she just a basically thirsty, um, low-life motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And motherfucker tell her I said it. I don't give a fuck, bitch. You know I'm coming, bitch. I'm coming. Uh-oh. I'm coming, bitch. You know what you did. You know what you signed. That was phony. I got you, bitch. Ha, I got you, bitch. You bitch. What is going on? Oh, what you... Okay. Any, uh, yeah. <laughs> she knows. Hey, I got you. I know, what It'll be this? seen. I'm coming, bitch. It's the reason you ain't came at me and, 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 and been like, he lying. On, you, you would say I'm lying in front of people, but bitch, you know. You know, bitch. I got you, bitch. I got you, bitch. You going to owe me, bitch. God damn it. I'm about to put a motherfucking payback support on your ass, you bum ass bitch. Mm. Even though I did want to see her titties. I used to want to look he at Porter's. did say, what was that bet? That I wanted to see Porter's titties. Remember when he said that he would forgive her of something, something? What was yeah, that? If, she, if she wiped the dandruff off her no, titties, because that bitch had more dandruff than motherfucking. Sulfur 8 was created for that bitch. You so for eight for itchy scalps. Remember during them Soul Train commercials? Mm-mm. You so for eight for dandruff. You so for eight you for know what? hair. You so for eight <laughs> for <laughs> itchy scalps. Every movie. What? That was a cut. I used I to like them you commercials. You know what it is, I think his mom left him alone in front of the TV. You guys sat down in front of the Don't you move. Watch your <laughs> shows. <laughs> Why well, I go grocery shopping and handle all this business? I can't take you because right. you want you can't everything. Go you couldn't it. turn the TV because the channels was too small for you to see what you was turning them to, goddamn. Very funny. You oh, was turning right. back when they had knobs. You was like, where's... No, I was busy out there learning survival Where's WFLD? You sat in front of the boob tube. Okay. They did what? Say that again? I was busy learning survival That's what I thought you said. Skills. Anybody listen you to you? You know what? Oh. Listen to what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't come crying to me when you need help to survive. <laughs> Who else Somebody can Somebody said put Genevieve on camera. <laughs> oh, Here we go. Um, Genevieve, that's um, um, Frank's, Frank's wife. wife. If she wants to be on camera and say hello to everybody, she can come say hi. There's Do a you picture want... of Frank and Genevieve Do from my birthday to? party on my Facebook. Did you say something? I said there's a picture. I didn't of... think so. Hey, you know what? Did you wanna did you wanna say hi to the people on camera, Genevieve? Or you don't want to be seen. You see how his voice changes when he's talking yeah. to. Her? No, they nobody care how you look. They just want to get a glimpse of who you are. There you go. Yeah. Come on, come she can here. come over here. This is just this say is hi. um Frank's wife. I glasses too, Genevieve. Genevieve, say hi. hi. Am I Where's saying the Genevieve? name right? Yes. Hi. Genevieve, and where are you from? I am from. Um, I was born in Germany, and then grew up there a bit, and in England, and in Malaysia because my mom's Chinese Malaysian, so everywhere. She's been around. I love her voice. They right. love your oh, voice. There you go. Oh, Miss Lips, was well, she sweet? Miss Lips is nice. Oh, I love you, Miss Lips. Oh, Somebody you. said, put TT back. Miss Lips want to eat that pussy. Get your ass out of here, Miss Lips. <laughs> Thank you, Genevieve. <laughs> Thank you, Genevieve. Thank you you Genevieve. stop that, Miss Lips. You Get stop. your Atlanta ass out of here, goddammit. 
Don't fuck them niggas raw in Atlanta. You're going to be coughing. Uh, that's the homegirl, Miss Lip. Miss <laughs> Lip, hell yeah. Yeah, she been down, boy. Lip, she, she, <laughs> Miss Lip's crazy out of me. Yeah. Hey, Some of the yeah. shit she say, I'll be yeah, like, this yeah. motherfucker girl. crazy. Yes. Miss Lip's girl. out there, boy. I ain't seen your boy in there, though. I love her, now. Who? who? Who else would be in the room? I don't know. Well, who, was who are you looking for? The main dude, homie, with the glasses. Didn't he come see you last time? Who? In town. Tokyo Good Life? No. That's who you looking for? No, I'm not. He like Tokyo Good no, Life. Is that the nigga no, who picked not. her up? I don't what? know. What? No. Pretty Tony? No. <laughs> no. I think the only thing Tokyo Good Life missed, he just a little bitty nigga. Oh, that's the one who draw. The yeah, artist. the little bitty nigga. Yes. Oh, D would give him that. The nigga who made that fifty one fifty look cartoon yeah, look shit. What? No. D, D like that little nigga. Oh, I did say he's D adorable, just gave me the but look no, like, nigga. Not. I already didn't gave him. No. That. <laughs> that was the look. No. D looked at. Put I, that I, Tokyo no. good dick in D. I caught. No. I caught you, D. You gave me that look. No. I was talking. Is he married? D done gave I've never this asked man. him. He's a friend of the show. D of course, that's the homie. Yeah. D man, look. Then gay this man. No, I have not. He didn't hit the cricket. No, I have not. But all my girls want to get with him. They think he's adorable. <laughs> D, you didn't gave it up. Who is your no, girl? I'm not. Oh, my people. Who? I'm not gonna say names, but they were all at my party, and everybody was like, "Oh, he is so cute." Hey, who, who like who? He was at. He was at your party. I'm not gonna say names because two of them are married. Oh, uh, was he at your party? Well, we yeah. know they get yes, out. He was. We danced and everything. He bought me a couple of margaritas. It oh, don't matter if your yeah, friends yeah. are married. They will get out. All D friends will oh, get stop. the uh, fuck no. down. No. D didn't got. D didn't get it. No, I have what, not. What, no, what, that what is, and I swear to God on everything I love. That what? May God strike me down right now. I have not. You that know what? God ain't gonna strike you down. Ah, I would not play like that. Who did D smash? No, he's claiming that guy. D smashed, uh, what's that one nigga name? I can't think of his name. I can't. I be mean, forgetting niggas. But we, I know who you're talking about. His name is on my mind. The nigga with the glasses. What's the nigga with the glasses, oh man? Oh, my God. Who's He's from glasses? Chicago. He always be in the chat room. We ain't seen his name tonight. And see you even, because my, my mind is... It's going to come fart. to me in one second. The nigga, he came to the show in Chicago. Right, I'm having a brain fart right grip now. when he shook my hand. Right. Ronan. 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 Where the fuck is Ronan? Ronan, where you at? You locked up, nigga? <laughs> so, Ronan so. locked up for child support and hard shit like that. Right, <laughs> right. That nigga in the county, goddammit. Ronan. <laughs> Ronan. That's Get the your nigga. noodle eating ass back on there, nigga. <laughs> we did start Somebody late. Somebody said he did. No, stop. <laughs> Don't even play like that. I ain't Ronan never. <laughs> See them not on here. Come to think of it, I know you're right. That's why I said stupid. I ain't seen your boy. What you do to make Ronan not be on the shit no more, D? Why you gotta blame it on me? You were the last one to see him in person. <laughs> <laughs> what is D at your show? <laughs> you said Corey did something to him. I Marcellus, ain't do shit, Ronan. Marcellus is the homie. He's very nice. Who is Marcellus? I don't know, but Duke Suave said Marcellus. That Marcellus. is one of my ex, but he's so sweet. He's oh. married. They have the cutest child. Are oh, you talking about Marcellus Wiley? He just put that up. I like there. Marcellus exactly. Wiley. Exactly, and he's a he's a gentleman. He's a nice guy. I think he's a gentleman too. He God is. Damn it. That's I swear the homie right there. Yes. I'm I'm very proud of him to remain a man and still have a job on ESPN. Yeah. Because it's not easy to conduct yourself like a man yeah. and have a job. Well, he is an alpha male. On and ESPN. He's smart. Yeah. You're very intelligent, brother. Yeah. Went to Ivy League school. They said you got TT. People are saying my New York City show was canceled at Caroline's. Let me tell you about a couple of my club dates. Let me uh -oh. just put this out there. You should do it. Yeah. We got a tour going. Me and Lavelle Crawford finally hooked it up. But we got a tour going. It's uh -oh. Comedy's Most Wanted tour. Mm -hmm. I saw that. And I like that. We want y'all to support. I do not like canceling club dates because. Clubs are spending intimate time with the people. Mm -hmm. They write up on you. Mm -hmm. You have to shake their hand and everything. When you do a theater, it's not as easy. But we finna tear this motherfucker down. Finally, me and Lavelle, and I don't know if y'all seen Lavelle. You remember when Lavelle came on the show? Yeah, mm -hmm. I got a picture of that. He's smaller night. than that. You told me that. He didn't got even smaller? His head shrunk. This nigga is on a head diet. <laughs> No, you said his voice changed. His, I like that because I love his, his voice. His voice changed because it ain't no more um, goo on his throat. <laughs> Shut up. 
Stop, stop. Lavelle, you hear him. He ain't got no more goo on he his throat. He lost the gravy on his oh, esophagus. <laughs> right. Oh. He sound like Usher now. The Daddy's home. The Monteca. The Monteca. The Monteca. That's the Mon- lard. That's basically lard. lard. Yeah. <laughs> D be getting it here. <laughs> she try to butts <laughs> like shit. <laughs> Wait, what? No, not a Lavelle, but I'm just saying. I'm, when he, he said, said the gravy. man had lard on his throat. Yeah. Well, he said gravy. Yeah. I was just. It's too late, D. Oh, oh, me and Lavelle, oh we on tour. And it's really some big shit. I I I know the the show. Let me tell y'all, motherfuckers, something, man. The diabetes tour. The diabetes. Tour. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that laugh. That's the genuine laugh. Shut you hear that hearty? <laughs> Don't change the subject. The diabetes boy. tour. Fuck y'all. Yeah. Cause Dominique on that motherfucker too. God damn. That's the, the insulin the tour. The insulin tour. <laughs> No, that's not funny. But also on the tour, we got, got JJ months. from Atlanta. Uh, I know a lot of y'all know who JJ is. Mm-hmm. JJ mm-hmm. is a funny comic from Atlanta. And we also got from Atlanta one of my Wild and Out homeboys, uh, young DC Fly. Little mm-hmm. nigga. Yeah. Super uh, Chris Tucker ass nigga. Oh, that's the dude from uh, Wild and Out, right? Yeah, and yeah. he's been in a couple of movies. He's funny been getting guy. some looks. Yeah, yeah. so... We finna, man, we finna put this shit out there. Rock motherfucking cities. We need y'all support. Come on out. Cause I'm here to tell you, I'm tear the motherfucker down. We got Naptown coming up. We got Kansas City coming up. Mm-hmm. We got Buffalo, San, New San York. Yeah, that's, I think that's, no, I think that's on that. No, I think that's on the shit. Is it? Oh, oh shit. my gosh. I'm just. We'll be in, we'll, we'll be to your town, motherfucker. Um, Somebody say DC Fly is corny. <laughs> no, DC Fly, DC Fly is, is getting good, man. Mm-hmm. See, let me tell you something about young comics. A lot of times Daddy they be Daddy. they be scared to talk about what's really going on. After them mm-hmm. niggas watch me, they start talking about their life. Right. I'm not ah. trying to brag, but I'm saying everybody started somewhere, so it's all right. Damn, man, fuck it. I gotta say it. Comics watch the confidence that I talk this shit on stage and the good comics start talking about their life. The whack comics start acting like me. Mm. My man who passed, bless his heart, comic from New York, everybody know this motherfucker. Uh, Damn, why am I blanking on his name? What's the big guy who passed? The real big guy. I can't believe I'm forgetting my my man's name. The big dude... um, Patrice O'Neal. Brother Patrice O'Neal. I'm proud to say this shit. Motherfuckers might not believe it, but I know some motherfuckers who could back this story up. Patrice O'Neal was always a talented comic, right. yeah. but Patrice O'Neal saw me perform, and I noticed after that, Patrice O'Neal was himself. He had no reservations about talking about whatever the fuck he wanted to talk about. Mm. And I... It ain't for me to act like I'm the motherfucker who create comics, but when a motherfucker watch me, they realize it's okay to be you. Just like a lot of people in the motherfucking chat room. Man, look, I encourage you to talk shit, whether it's about me, whether it's about whatever. I'm saying perfect your craft of being confident. That's all I want you to do. Like D, when I first met her, she wasn't confident. Ice-T had destroyed her. Now she is happy and... You built her back up. Right. She oh, realized brother. she can't read that good. Oh, right. She don't Damn. give a fuck about not reading no more. <laughs> D, you ain't never got to read. You're going to be my homie. Wow. Why, well, are you going to read it for me? Wow. Or are you going to pay and get me LASIK again? Because you know mine worn out. Your LASIK wore out? Yeah. Don't tell I nobody that. What do you mean it does? I don't tell anybody that. They turned, her, they turned her LASIK no. gigabytes down. No, everybody, if you get LASIK, I had it for seven years. You got to get, no, you gotta get, a, you gotta get Verizon. No, you got to get a eight sprint. You got to get your LASIK gigabytes turned anyway, up. Anyway, no. At the end of the month, they turn it down instead. No, it goes away, Corey. It's just eyes. <laughs> she anyway. sees worse at the end of the month. When we first you? met the mighty Zoe Williams, Zoe oh. Williams never would take that hat off. But around us, he'll get bold enough after he has shaved as Look low as he can get it. He will take that hat off. And we love you for that, Zoe. <laughs> you know what? You ain't shaved today, did you? Yes, he did. That hey, motherfucker. Ever that? since Cameron the Mark. freeze oh, tragedy, thank you, sweetheart. That's he has nice. never hit this motherfucker without that head low as it'll go. How hey, when is the 7X tour coming here? <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
the seven, the middle large door. Uh-oh. Right. Uh, but you're going to be surprised when you see how Lavelle look. It don't even, it's weird when I see him. The he nigga, like a little he's boy now. I got to get category him. anymore then. He what? He's not in that category anymore. He just got to get his skin straight legged. You know how I be, hey, you got to. Tuck it. Sew it up on the side. Take the paint. Tuck it. Yeah. He got that skin like that flying squirrel. Uh, didn't I say that? <laughs> We wrong. All right. Lavelle the vampire now. Nah, he be like, Phew. Oh, Stop. <laughs> I want to bite the chicken. Lavelle, oh. <laughs> don't get mad at me. You know these jokes. Lavelle, don't, don't, he don't like jokes. Oh. He got oh. jokes, no. He don't oh. laugh. He be like, oh. Yeah, I think I <laughs> Stop. Oh. Oh. Hat pool date, 9 one two fifteen. LOL. <laughs> It's been that long? No, really? It ain't been no two years since your Yeah, head. but we just started Has it been 2017, two so maybe it was. It was nine, so that was the end of 2015. <laughs> These <laughs> niggas done found a date. These niggas do the date. These niggas do the date. Who did that? Who put that date up? <laughs> we gonna have to Super see Supersize me to a fuck you, Zafinity mm-hmm. nigga. What they said, that? what is your real name, though? They don't know that yet. They don't know Zoe's real name. Zoe don't tell his real name. Well, he does. Do he you? has it on his book. It's, yeah. It's what is right it? On the book. Fernando's? Yeah. <laughs> Ricardo, like the guy that carries <laughs> <laughs> Felipe. <laughs> said Fernando's. <laughs> Felipe Williams? <laughs> what is Felipe. Yeah. Get the book, nigga. <laughs> hey, <look. laughs> he said, get the I book, like nigga. Get My the name book. on the book, My nigga. name on the front cover. Get the book. Somebody say, come to Durant, Oklahoma. We got to get to Oklahoma. We haven't been to Oklahoma. In- there it is. Juice the Pimp got it right. Yeah, there it what is. What do you call you it? Renard? Renard. You know. Renard. <laughs> 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 That's ugly. Don't ever do that shit. Renard. Stop. Hey, what does Corey mean again? Uh. Nothing. <laughs> I don't know. What does what does Renard oh. mean? <laughs> don't ever speak. I know. Renard. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, I'm about to cry. One more time. Genevieve no. know what it means. What does Renard mean, Genevieve? Renard don't uh, mean nothing. It means a book. Now is she is okay, is she from London? Is she from England or is she fucking She said about four Pacquiao. continents, goddammit. I don't know. <laughs> that sound like Pacquiao right there, nigga. <laughs> She's from everywhere southwest don't fly, nigga. Oh my god. Anyway. Uh, all stupid. Right. Well, we tried to flow this show out. It was very no, demoralizing sorry, but to we have did to it, but we did it. Yeah, it was we very demoralizing right, to have to bootleg this show like this, man. I, I am going to have to move again. You should show them the chords. <laughs> oh, my God. We might have to post We stole that up. electricity. We've learned how to steal. We had to steal electricity from the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we I got will- chords. <laughs> we got <laughs> chords that can reach the Long <laughs> Beach right now. <laughs> And we could. We could plug in at Snoop Dogg House. That. I'll video. <laughs> Listen, it was, it was a power outage, so right. we had to make yes, it work. Right. We did. Oh my God. I'm about to videotape some of that. I'll put it up. We're going to put it up. We used both mm-hmm. the men and the women's bathroom. We sure did. God damn it. So them mm-hmm. cords smell like dick and pussy. Oh. What Bernie Mac say? Medusi. Medusi. <laughs> Medusi. Who made the other mannequins hug like that? I made them hug like okay. that. I got Ooh, them right up me. on each other. I thought they gravitated towards each other like that. I got scary. them motherfuckers humping over there. They were hugged up. <laughs> How do people buy the shirts? Uh, go to the website on... Uh, CoreyHolcomb.com? Well, that's the email. You got to go to cartel, bigcartel.com mm-hmm. and look up 5150 gear. It'll Who else has 5150 stuff? I saw that. No, there's a lot of people. DJ Yella has his own, but that's not his. That's... Um, uh, George Lopez backs those guys. They're up north. That they've been around that. for a long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They spell it different, and so does DJ Yellow. Right. Yeah, but a lot of people, I mean, I was telling somebody online because they were posting something up, you know, again, trying to start something like, oh, I don't know if you guys seen this, but it's like that's a very common 
police calling, you know what I'm saying, for a psychiatric hold. So 50 and 50 is out there. It's, you know, for anybody to, to use. But this is the Corey Holcomb 5150 show. The, 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 the real 5150. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Them niggas can act like it. Look at their numbers. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, nigga, I ain't trying to talk shit. I'm just yeah. letting you know, nigga. Yeah. I be that nigga. <laughs> That's some street shit right there. I'll be that sure nigga. It was. Yeah. Nick. Anyway. All right. All right. So Denver, Colorado, we are in town this week. 5150, you dig? No, these motherfuckers ain't coming with me. What I'm trying to say is <laughs> I will be in Denver, Colorado at the Denver Improv Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Fuck with your boy. I might try weed for the first time since I'm going to oh Denver. Oh, my oh, God. Shit. No. It ain't, no, it weed. won't be my first time. One day I ate oh. a weed brownie, but I'm going to try some oh. shit like that. Well, my son and his girlfriend have some of the best edibles in L.A. I'll have to get you one. You bullshit. Oh. <laughs> he got pampered thongs. I wish. That is actually a great idea. Corey Renard and the retard. Oh, my God. Oh, ain't that about nothing. <laughs> y'all ain't Wow, Corey uh, Koi McMuffins. <laughs> Little bastard. This nigga's name is Koi McMuffin. Exactly. Uh-huh. Put That's your whole, photo up. Right. Hey, Koi McMuffin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that nigga's sitting on a chair with no drawers on and a motherfucking candle up his ass. Mm. That nigga typed like this. <laughs> <laughs> His name Coy McMuffins. The fuck you think? What the fuck is going on? Over what there? they say? <laughs> Woolworth. <laughs> buy my, buy my <laughs> gear at Woolworth. <laughs> Nigga, get your oh. pussy ass out of here. <laughs> Once again, when you buy gear, it helps us pay for the electricity. That's true. Yes. That we steal from the men's bathroom. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. Uh, oh, and also you're designing the shirt that you're only going to sell exclusively on the road. Yeah, that's coming up. We're going to have a Road 5150 show. And I got another shirt that's coming out that I know almost everybody 5150 going to buy. Right. I was telling Zoe about it. I don't even want to No, no, no. I don't even want to say this shirt until I got it in my hand because this is a shirt that uh, I will wear this shit on the plane just to make motherfuckers <laughs> mad. A lot of times when you wear it, but see, it got a curse word on it. Oh, yeah. And when you have a these. shirt with a curse yeah. word on it, they can make you take it off on yeah. the plane. Or turn it into But I can't, I can't take the curse word out this shirt, out this shirt because it's too funny. Mm-hmm. It's gonna anyway, be good, so this was a good show, even though we made it happen We talked somehow. to Bobby. By nook or crook, they call that. Bobby's somewhere Bobby. asleep right now. I got them on a brown pillow that started out Stop. white. Stop. Looked like um, 1,500 grasshoppers spit on Bobby pillow. <laughs> All right, fuck mm-hmm. it, that one shit. All right. <laughs> it ain't nothing but Tabasco. It ain't nothing. That ain't nothing wrong? Ain't nothing but Jack Daniels on my pillow. That ain't Right, there's nothing wrong. Clean it in keg and water. <laughs> Wait, I got a couple things to promote. I got to get it out. Escape from Candyland, only available on Amazon.com. Uh, uh, my documentary. You got to go check that out. Escape from Candyland on Amazon.com. Uh, please go check that out. And then tomorrow, Dash Radio, 5 to 7 p.m. Malaya is going to be there again. That's the big thick motherfucker, right? Big pretty girl. Sweet girl. I'm going to have to see her again. She's going to be on the show tomorrow. Malaya. Malaya. She'll be there tomorrow, 5 to 7 p.m. So you should come through, nigga. I might do that. I might go (laughs) on here and pull it off. Fuck it. Yeah, man. Just What's what y'all talk about, you know? We talking about betrayal. Oh, yeah, I'll be there. Because <laughs> I figure like me and um, her won't get in an argument. I'll be worried about getting into arguments with girls on your shows, though. You be having them bitches with them little books and bitches who be calling themselves doctors and shit. I am doctor. What was the bitch name? I mean, the lady name? You mean yeah, the one who's, oh, who's the nice. president See? of... Corey is growing. Her own little you chapter of the lady. NAACP. What's the bitch name, Nick? Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn Doctor it. who? Spoke too soon. Dr. Cheyenne Bryant. Dr. Cheyenne Bryant. <laughs> Bitch, that's good game right there. What? What? That girl going to move up in the world. You can't stop she her. She is moving up. Because she, she, her looks are going to get her indoors. She bad. That a lot of motherfucking um, doctor bitches can't get in. But she's smart too, though. Look. It's slick. That's not smart. You can't say smart and slick in the same motherfucker. She says she a doctor. And Corey, she's it beautiful. Works. 
Yeah, she looks. She's a very attractive woman, and she's smart. I would love to ski in her and watch her swallow a Plan B yeah. in front of me, but I'm just saying, mm. bitch, run that doctor shit on the sucker ass nigga that's gonna run with it with you. Mm. You ain't no doctor. This motherfuckers out here that went to school and did what they have to do to be a doctor, and you want me to call this bitch a doctor? Ha, nigga. Mm. I like Cheyenne. I think she's awesome. I like her, too. I would like to skeet on her back and wipe it off with a big smear dry rag. Other than that, that doctor shit missed me with that, nigga. And the bitch with the little book. Where that bitch at? I love her, too. I think she's amazing. Little book bitch. Where she at? She's around. She's an actress. She works. That bitch starving. She ain't going to make no actress money. That bitch gums pink. What's the other bitch? Uh, uh, oh, I love her. What is her name? The one I be trying to be cool with, but she don't fuck with me? Who? <laughs> what is the bitch? Brand- I don't know. Brandy? Oh, Brandy's awesome. Brandy will not fuck with me. I looked at her Twitter. She didn't look the same. What? She looked different. Oh that struggle. God. That struggle he do not lie. a secret troll. I'm not that a troll or shit. Her Twitter oh popped. Somebody. God. Her Twitter popped up. I don't look for nobody, but when Who it popped up, about? But you just said you looked at it. You talking about it. your you old mean? co-host that thought that your show was her show, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you something, though. Mm. I can't stand this nigga when right a, now. When, 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 when a bitch know you gonna talk to her for real, she respect you more. Oh, she might not fuck with you. She be like, fuck that. I ain't gonna be around that day. Zoe having ugly, fine bitches. What is that? Them bitches just be straight for the stroke. Talk about the white police bitch. (laughs) Which one is that, Zoe? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what they talking about. The white police bitch? You don't know who that Uh -uh. is? You ain't had no police bitch on your show? No. Maybe they thought she was white. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, they're talking about this lady who called in. She was like a psychiatrist or something like that. And they, she dealt with police officers. Okay, the G. Did I get in an argument with her? No. The most the argument I'm most proud of is the nigga from that website. What was the name of that website? <laughs> Ashley Madison. Ashley Madison. I, I asked the nigga flat out, "Have you ever had sex with a man?" And he would not say shit. That shit was fucking hilarious. I was like, "You a faggot? What the fuck you talking about some man shit when you fuck men? The fuck is you talking about, goddamn?" <laughs> Right. Shea butter bitches. What the Whitney fuck is, you is talk- beautiful. It's a gang of beautiful Who is Whitney? It's Chris's, Chris's cousin. cousin. Oh, yeah, she cute. Whitney is beautiful. It's a gang of pretty girls on she my She that show. grocery store bitch cute, though. Like, bitch, you be at the grocery store with? Bitch, go get the eggs. I'm going to go get the vinegar. Don't talk to him. Don't ask him who's cute or not. We already know he's got his own thing. His own little Do you definition. like Tokyo Good Life? We didn't act like something was wrong with that. You like he's him, right? What's wrong with him? He's adorable. Well, mail him the monkey. He's he's too young and just, yeah. No, he's, I need an older fella. Ronan is not on this motherfucker he tonight. Sure is not. We miss him. Oh, my God. Ronan is locked up. Shut up. I'm Don't telling you what be happening. Nigga, he Don't ain't, put that on him. He ain't dead. Let me tell you why I know he ain't he dead. Because he's smart. He started late. He's smart. We, we started late. He's asleep. He ain't going to miss the sleep. show on no sleep. That nigga locked up. <laughs> I know. It's this one. Wa- he could be out on a date. Hold on. I know who know. I'm going to look for this motherfucker name. Who? Uh-oh. <laughs> no, he do a show with somebody. Oh, oh I thought something popped up. I don't want to oh, see that. that show? I think he just tried Ronan to sell got a show? Fuck. Ronan didn't yeah. tell me about the show. Fucking on, Ronan. Ronan. Where you at, nigga? Somebody say, fuck Ronan. Nigga got <gasps> mad. We said his name. Somebody say, I shot him. That's not nice. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> D needs someone older and who can't read like her. Who I be is who I am. What? Okay, well, fuck yeah. it. We finna get ready okay. to wrap this yes, shit up. Please. D, you got anything you trying to plug? Besides Ice-T your, um... killed Ronan for Mesmer. <laughs> Ice-T killed That's Ronan. Not nice. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, it's my birthday, so I'm going to be Ice doing a was of, like, I'm I be, kill Pookie. You know, I'm going to be getting into some fun things, you know. Darling, you can't see niggas, you fucking. Look, um, we appreciate y'all for all your support and hanging in there with us. Yeah, we are going to make some more commercials for a little bit of everything. Me and um, Frank starting to get on the right page. We're going to ask his wife if he can shoot this commercial. 
And uh, we gonna get permission, <laughs> right? From Zen. <laughs> sure. She runs shit. She be like, Frank, I don't know. I'll think about it. They are cracking up. Somebody say them taxes came back. Anyway. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna go out there and film some of this. And post it up. We finna wrap this shit up, y'all. All Thank right. you for fucking with us yes. this week. We coming back next week with a guest comedian. Ah, I'm not going to yeah. say the name, but. Do I know? Thank you, Reggie. Ah, happy birthday to me. I know, huh? We'll have, I ain't going to say nothing. We'll have a guest comedian next week who will go help us is talk. Is it my homie? Because if so, we have the same birthday. Who is your homie? D-Ray. No, D Ray ain't coming oh, up here. Why but didn't not? he just say we he have the exact same say, Then you said it. No, but I told him but to he say asked. it. Exactly. I was it ain't D Ray. Even though D Ray might pop up here one day. Why not? Yeah. yeah. That is the homie. He's so D Ray. Nick Cannon want to come up here. He said he tried. Oh, to man. Oh, he would man. be all. Oh, Let's get him up here, man. People want him on their show right now. Nick Cannon, the homie. I was but disappointed. I'm you know the reason he want to come up here, right? To lay that truth out. You want to smash D. Oh, my oh, God. God. He always Stop. be like, D going to be there. Oh. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Yeah, yeah. No, he but I, I would love to have Nick up here so he could talk that real. Because I don't like the way they treated him in the media. Well, you know, I'll like put it like this. Crazy. If Nick come up here, we're going to have stipulations of what can and can't be asked. Because yeah, bottom line. Yeah. He got the pressure on him of a yeah. thousand motherfuckers because he was bold enough to tell them people step the fuck off. So them people got friends, right? And they watching him now. You get what I'm saying? Right, like, right, oh, right. Don't be proud. You know how they do. I know. Don't be proud, I boy. Know. We can change your life with one decision, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. What up, Miss Lips? Hey. No, I get it. Miss Lips, take that ugly ass bathrobe off while you watching the show. <laughs> Thanks, C. Butler. Fuck who it. Oh, everybody's saying happy birthday. That's so sweet. It's going to make me cry. Miss <laughs> mm. mm. D, are you watching the show in a house coat? Shut up. <laughs> Look at her. I love Nick. Right, Miss D? We love Nick. He's nice. No, Nick Happy cool. Elderly Day D. You know happy what? Happy Elderly Day D. <laughs> you, Somebody say bring Cat on. But let me tell y'all some real I love shit. That yeah. Cat, on Cat oh, he running to me. He be like, what's up, nigga? What the show? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna break oh your God. crazy ass off. Oh yeah. But see, Cat will come up here with nine niggas with automatic weapons. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> and we'll be like, Cat, everything's straight. Shit. What you, you, you is it all right with you, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> like, Cat. You ain't Cat, it's me, now it's Corey, nigga. <laughs> you cool, nigga. Go ahead. Y'all don't shoot this nigga. You got to remind him, huh? <laughs> right. Oh, good. I love it. Somebody said bring Wait, speedy. I, go. I think Jose was ready to leave. I gotta go. Okay, Can go. I? Yeah, go ahead, yeah, D. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Hi, Where you going? Hi. He got to go handle some business over there with my man on, yeah. on the oh, shirt side of the game. Tell him I'm on my way over there with his paper. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Am I Corey's uh, camera? Yep. Yeah. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. <laughs> D head smell like SA skull caps. Who said that? Oh, God. Me, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Bosco, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Where what did you that? come from with that shit? Oh, I know what Bosco is, nigga. I'm not that much younger than you. What is this some kind of gravy? What is it? It's the shit that put in chocolate milk. <laughs> the black shit. <laughs> fuck you, D. God damn. Your glasses ain't strong. Enough. Your glasses ain't got enough gigabytes. Somebody's happy dead eggs day, D. <laughs> happy dead eggs day, D. <laughs> Oh, that's Coy McMuffins. That's a gay nigga. <laughs> this nigga right here. <laughs> I'm Did coming it. right now. All right. We finna wrap this shit up. I got to make pay some bills for all this shit I had to buy. I want to tell y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how much shit we talk. I love y'all 5150. See y'all next week. Promise you next week's show gonna be better. Like they say on that one show. We'll try to do better next time. We'll try. I'm too old gay nigga. <laughs> Deuces. We're out. All right. Uh.